Guess which Gulfstream G3 is back up for auction. Yep, you guessed it, probably just by looking at the thumbnail. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, the famous, or should I say infamous, Gulfstream G3 is back. So if you've been living under a rock, you might not have seen my YouTube video I made with this plane that went crazy viral. It was our first like million view video on the channel. You guys blew this video up for good reason. I mean, I nearly bought an abandoned Gulfstream G3 at no reserve auction and was crazy enough to think I could buy it, fix it, and maybe get it flying again and sell for a profit. That was the pipe dream plan at least before you guys came in and crushed my hopes and dreams through the comment section of that video telling me that I'm absolutely insane for bidding on that plane and that I dodged a bullet. I am so lucky that I didn't end up winning that plane because it would have made me go bankrupt. I never would have been able to find the parts. The plane will never ever fly again. You guys went off in the comments. I mean, for good reason. It was pretty stupid to try to buy this plane. But what's not stupid is making a YouTube video about it and sharing it with you guys because clearly you guys enjoyed that. If you haven't seen that video, you can check it out. I go in depth on this plane because after all I was trying to buy it so I did a lot of research on it and I actually drove all the way out to California to go preview the plane the day before the auction. Okay, there it is, the abandoned Gulfstream G3. Been sitting there for years, behind the gate. Look at that poor thing. What a beautiful aircraft, just been sitting, collecting dust and rotting away. Honestly, it was really, really cool to see that plane up close and personal and then, you know, whip out my iPhone to grab some video clips of it. Going inside of it for the first time and that plane was sitting for like six or seven years, I'm pretty sure. So I was one of very few people that got to like explore this abandoned airplane. So honestly, when I ended up not winning the plane, I kind of just posted the video for you guys to enjoy and I didn't think much of it after that. A few people reached out saying like, hey, I know who bought that plane. Like, they're gonna get it flying again. They secretly have the log books. Oh yeah, that's the number one thing. The plane had no log books at auction. So that right there is probably enough to seal that plane's fate of it never flying again. But I got somebody who messaged me saying the bidder secretly had the log books the whole time. And I'm like, God dang it. I knew somebody had those logs. And I'm like, okay, well then I won't be surprised if I see this plane flying. So periodically I checked into like the flight radar, the flight tracker and the G3s for sale across the country just to make sure that nobody was trying to sell it for like $2 million and make a quick flip and you know, got it flying or something. If that were the case, you know, I'd kick myself and be like, oh, I could have bought it, you know, just 300 grand, but um, no, I never saw it again. And I didn't hear much the past six months until I got a DM two days ago saying, hey Jeff, hey JR, um, are you gonna buy the Gulfstream G3? It's up for auction again. And I'm like, whoa, 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 hold on. Are we talking triple eight whiskey echo? And he's like, yeah, the same plane from your video. Here's the link. So I went ahead and clicked his link and to my surprise, up popped the auction page for a Gulfstream G3 tail number, November 888 whiskey echo. The same exact plane a year later going up for auction again. So this is where the story gets crazy. So as I open up this auction page, I honestly just sat there for a minute in disbelief. I'm like, why is this plane up for auction again? This makes no sense. And I'm like, okay, well, hang on. Maybe it does make sense. Maybe they got it flying again. Maybe they found all those missing avionics. Maybe they found the missing logs. Or they did some repairs to it to make it more valuable or they gutted the whole thing and everything would be ripped apart. The interior would be gone and all of the screens in the cockpit would be ripped out and they're just selling like the shell, the carcass, which is what I was gonna make into like an Airbnb or a fake flexor like uh, Instagram photo shoot where models can put, pay like a thousand bucks and like have a complete Gulfstream interior that's on the ground, not flying, you know, fake Instagram things. That's what I would have done with just the body. So I'm like, okay, are they trying to just get rid of the scrap? Did they complete the plane? Is it flying or is it the exact same? I really wasn't sure, but there were 89 pictures attached to this listing. I'll go ahead and link it down below. I don't really care at this point. I'm purposely posting this video before the end date of December 9th because I have too much going on to try to buy this Gulfstream G3 and resurrect it from the dead. And clearly the fact that it's up for auction again indicates that whoever bought it I'm guessing, hypothetically, just my opinion, they got in over their heads and they're trying to just get the heck out of the deal or they found maybe corrosion or a huge problem that will prevent the plane from ever flying again and they just wanna 
wipe their hands and get the heck out of this plane deal. So that's my initial gut reaction. And if that's the case, I don't want somebody's like leftover secondary project that they want to get out of. And now fully understanding the time and money that goes into maintaining and flying a jet, a baby jet at that, our Citation 501, I am now in a whole different mindset of thinking of, I do not want to go do that with a Gulfstream, a project Gulfstream at that, I couldn't imagine. Our 501's like a peach. It's a really, really nice, well cared for plane. This plane, the Gulfstream, was abandoned for seven years. Like, why, why would I want to go do that right now? Not appealing, that's why I am passing. Okay, hold up. Editing Jeffrey here. I know the last minute of this video made it sound like I'm definitely not buying this plane, but look at the price. For the last three days, the auction's been stuck at just $30,000. Okay, sure, I'm not gonna go spend $300,000 on this plane, but at the right price, should I be considering this plane? Please comment down below. I mean, 30, 40, 50 grand? Sounds like a smoking deal for a Gulfstream, despite the condition it's in. So yeah, I'm passing at two or 300,000 bucks, but shoot, I think I might still bid on this plane. But I'm still making this video because I wanna get your guys' take on it. I wanna find some more information about the plane. And if somebody's gonna go buy it, then you know I figured I would share what I know about the plane in this video. And maybe somebody's gonna make a cool project out of that. I really hope somebody gets it and does something with it. Because clearly, as we can see in the pictures here, I don't think anything has happened to the plane. I was shocked, honestly. I thought something would have changed. I start swiping through the pictures. Honestly, the only thing I see different about this auction is the fact that the airplane is inside of a hangar instead of parked outside where it was abandoned on the ramp at that uh, Ontario airport. If you guys don't recall from the first video, basically that plane was abandoned. Like literally, they, they stopped paying the storage and they couldn't get in touch with the owner. So the city of what the heck is it, Ontario, California, yeah, the airport, Ontario airport, became the new owners of the plane and they wanted to get rid of it because they were building new hangars on that ramp space. I guess for a while they were fine to park there and just like whatever, they were out of sight, out of mind, but they were renovating that whole area of the airport. So they had to get all the planes gone. So they put them all up for no reserve auction. That's how I found out about the deal. There were two other airplanes, at least one other Gulfstream that I know of. That one sold super cheap, but it was an old G2, I'm pretty sure. So even worse than a G3, you're going even further back. Very few of them still flying, but so I'm actually not surprised that the plane is in a hangar because in the listing a year ago, they said the plane must be removed from its area within two months. So I knew it had moved based on satellite images and people told me it's no longer there, but I didn't know where to. I was told it was moved into a hangar and that person had the logs and they're gonna get it flying again. But I guess that was all just like, a made up story that somebody told me, but at least the part of it moving into a hangar was true, apparently. So it's in this tiny little hangar. You can see it's like shoved in there, barely fits. And um, to my surprise, you know, I would have done like a paint correction polish to the plane because that paint still had some life. Yes, it was super oxidized, super dirty, spider webs, corrosion, just a bunch of stuff growing on it um, from sitting what, 30 miles inland from the ocean for seven years, not ideal situation, parked outside with no engine covers, nothing. So I think a detail would have gone a long way, but it's not like a car where you pay 300 bucks and you get it polished and it looks incredible. Like the F430 here, finally got this car polished and it like transforms the car for $300. But a jet, oh my gosh, uh, some, can somebody comment down below the cost of like a paint correction on a jet? I don't know, so here I am armchair quarterbacking this thing, but. I feel like I would have invested some money into making it look really good because that, like I said, that paint could have come back to life. But no, it, it still looks rough in the pictures. The engines, oh gosh, I don't know. I'm guessing they started to uh, inspect the engines and probably, again, this is my opinion, I'm not trying to sabotage this auction or anything, but I wonder, okay, oh, geez, I don't want somebody to come after me. Okay, so hypothetically, I wonder if whoever bought that plane started to tear down the engines and perhaps found some corrosion or some nail in the coffin that make those engines worthless. I mean, they don't even have log books, so they are already like core worthless things, but maybe some of the parts on them were corroded or damaged from sitting out for that long. Interior, once again, I was like, okay, if you're gonna like try to recoup your 335,000 bucks, or whatever the final bid was, I'll put it up here. This is how much they paid for it. I figured you would start like parting out some, some parts off the plane, right? The interior was beautiful. Okay, screens.
you remember in my first video, I mean, the, the seats were immaculate, the carpeting was great, side panels were great, the wood was beautiful, the pillows, everybody freaked out about this in the first part. I never followed up with this, I didn't make much of a mention on it, but if you guys remember, if you were an astute viewer, you would remember in part one, the pillows said BlackRock. I'm pretty sure this was a BlackRock corporate executive Gulfstream that maybe got a little old, they upgraded the fleet, so they just kind of like abandoned it. I don't know, BlackRock, they got so much money. I don't want to get into conspiracies and stuff, but there were some crazy comments triangulating this crazy BlackRock thing. I'll just, I'll leave it at that, but, um, but the interior was mint and the cockpit was missing the FMSs and a few parts, sure enough. It's still missing the co-pilot seat and I think maybe the pilot seat. Um, but the rest of the cockpit is exactly how I saw it, just missing the two FMSs. And then the avionics rack, same thing. Some things are there, a lot of the stuff is missing. MPU, gone, gone. Stability, augmentation, air data computer, autopilot computer, air data, gone, gone, gone. Clearly, it doesn't look like they added anything, nor did they pull out the remaining stuff that was there. Everything looks the exact same same which doesn't make sense to me so please if you happen to be the owner if you know the owner of the plane if you know why it's going up for auction again somebody knows something i know there's a mechanic that like looked at that plane and you know maybe saw something bad or something just please i want closure this story this plane has been on my mind for the past year and with this video going viral i always get just comments and messages about it and now there's this crazy follow-up part two so Anyway, the auction's probably gonna end like tomorrow from when I post this video or in two days. So you can go check out the link down below. Hopefully it shows like a realized price. What do you guys think? Is it gonna go for more money, less money, or the same amount of money? I would definitely think less money. The economy's going down, plane market's going down, prices are going up for all these parts. The plane's older now, it's worth less, and it's already been through another set of hands. I, I just, I just, I just see it going for less. Okay, here's the last part I have to say about this video. When I went down to the description area to see more information, perhaps if they found logs or if they talk about work that they did or if they ground ran the plane or like useful information that would be handy to know, um, there's nothing there. So unless they go adding it in like two days, I'll update this video on the screen or in the description if they add more information. That would make sense, right? You're trying to sell a Gulfstream, it would probably help if you said something about it unless they don't want people knowing anything about it. Who knows, maybe they just wanna keep it very vague. But if they found the logs or they have any more information about the plane, that would give buyers a lot more confidence. It's really weird that they don't have more information on the plane. So that's where you guys come in, in the comment section with all your opinions or your info if you got any. By the way, everybody asks like, oh, why, why don't you post on JR Garage anymore? And uh, yeah, I, I do apologize for that. I'll be following up with a video over there talking about where we've been for like the past four or five months since I posted. That's so bad, I feel really bad about that. But uh, long story short, the answer is I've been focused on JR Aviation, so I really hope you guys enjoy the videos that are being cranked out here. I get it, if you're not interested in airplanes and you just want the car videos, then hang tight, those will be here soon. We've got some really good ones on the way. Check it out, the uh, F430 here. Like I said, we just got it all cleaned up and look what we did. If you didn't know already, we did the manual six-speed conversion. So gone is the automatic, and now we have a gated, glorious, manual which just makes this car so good and of course with the fully straight piped fab speed exhaust this engine sounds absolutely incredible roll the clip There you go, lots of fun car things on the way, but I had to make this video real quick because I just I just couldn't believe it when I saw my favorite G3 back up for auction. So comment down below what you think of it. Hope you enjoyed this quick little video and uh, we'll see in a couple days what it sells for. Place your bets down below. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in a video in a few days. I'm gonna be cranking out videos this whole month of December, so enjoy, later.